hi guys welcome to my channel since yesterday morning i woke up to this terrifying news about Wodemeyer's channel being hacked and um, at first i didn't believe it i went and then i searched for the channel i couldn't find it so then i got to believe that it was actually real that his channel i'm was really gone. saddened about this because Wodemeyer I feel like I have a connection to him like as if he was my brother like from the same mother um, but he's my brother from Africa because we both come from the same uh, continent we all come all African we are brothers and sisters and when something like this happened to my brother I feel affected it feels personal because he's like we are a family I don't know if yeah. everyone sees this like I see, I always look at outside the box. I always analyze things different from how other people analyze that, you know. So this is how I, how I see what the Maya's channel being um, hacked or whatever happened. My way it. of seeing this is like, I think what the Maya is, is a threat. His channel is a threat. They. Imagine if there's four, five, ten, hundred of Wademaya's African children narrating, making all this positive narrating, showing of Africa, promoting Africa, entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneur in Africa, businesses in Africa, um, landscape, beautiful landscape of Africa, hotels, everything that Africa has that we never never see in this country i've been living in the uk for nearly 15 years now and i believe me believe you when i'm telling you i've never seen anything positive about any country co from the continent from africa it's always hunger war uh, uh death uh, illness uh, ebola you this know always the negative side so when they see you a black person here, every, everyone always think that you're hungry, you come from very poor background. I was forced to come to the UK and never wanted to come here because my life was good. My life was really good before I came. I left Congo. My life was good. And then you come here, people treat you like you're coming here to beg. You I know. think... What the Maya's channel is a threat. They don't want to see more like what the Maya. They don't want to see the narrative what the Maya is spreading out because it's going against the narrative they've been spreading out for years. And now this young kid from Africa is coming and showing off the, the, the reality, the true reality. We're not denying that there's struggle, you know, but there's struggles everywhere. Even here in the UK, worse in America. But they don't show you that. They only show you the good side. So it's time for us to also show our good sides. So they don't want that. And like a few days ago, a few weeks ago, I saw him interviewing, I think he was the ex-president of Ghana and he 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 interviewed i think the minister of agriculture in in germany and things like that it was nice is i mean it's nice but i think like now he's unknowingly he's getting into politics and i think that's a danger because once you start getting involved with this politician things got start getting complicated because it's a complicated world politics so i think if i was modemaya i would stay away from those people and just do what he's been i, I would just continue to do what i've been doing working interviewing young entrepreneurs etc etc and showing the beauty of africa to be honest i'm worried i'm, I'm worried about his safety i'm worried about his life this is just the beginning. This is probably just a warning towards him. We just see, oh, his channel's been hacked. No, this is a warning. We don't know what's going to come next. 
I won't be surprised tomorrow like I was watch, watching him walking in the airport and everybody greeting him I won't be surprised to say that well they might have been stabbed by a fan they will use one of us they're never gonna do it themselves they will use one of us to do it to do the dirty job let's be smart our brother is in trouble this is a warning they don't want this to happen they don't want this type of narrative to spread one point something million african diaspora and people from africa and across the world and it's not just black people following him also some white people i have people at work who watch what the maya and they're british they're white british and they said to me you know what this guy's channel, do you know this guy called Wadamaya is from Ghana? I said, yeah, I follow him. They're like, oh my God, he has made me realize that I didn't know the real truth about Africa. Africa is beautiful. All these countries and cities, I didn't know there were such cities in Africa. You see? Now they want to come on holiday to Ghana, Tanzania, Rwanda, Zimbabwe, even me myself, I didn't know anything about Zimbabwe, but the way you the, the positive narrative about Zimbabwe, I too want to go to Zimbabwe now. Although I had a baby with Zimbabwe that was before. Never... Now I am. And this is the impact, and I'm not the only one feeling this way. He has been impacting people's life and views people. about Africa, about investing in Africa. The diaspora is opening their eyes. Why do you want to suffer here working a nine to five job? You never get appreciated. You can never build a legacy for your family, for your children, for your future. You just work and pay bills. And at the end of the month, you have nothing left to even put in your saving. What are you going to leave to your children when you can, you, you, have, you can get a piece of land in Africa and start at agriculture? Learn something here and go and develop it in your continent. Create job and create wealth for you and they your family. They don't want this. Because it's all Africans start staying in their continent and stop drowning in the, in the Mediterranean Sea. And the diaspora that has been studying and gained If they knowledge. decide to go back with the money and their knowledge and everything that they've gained here and go back and invest in Africa, that's a threat to them. What are they going to say about Africa anymore? African is op Africans are opening their eyes. African, in the African is developing. We are becoming wise. And they don't want that. Open your eyes, my brothers and sisters. This is, this is, this is a threat. This is a warning to us. Not just what I feel my brother is in danger. If I were him, I would start having bodyguards. He's not safe anymore. So my brother and sisters, instead of like backstabbing your brother and telling all these stories about how he's making money from removing his channels from after working so many years, over five years, building this content to just let it go like that. So I pray, let's pray for our brother. I hope he's okay. I hope he's doing well. I hope this is not going to bring him down to depression and like make him want to give up because we count on him he has a gift that not many people have and we should support him you know to continue so we hope i hope and i pray that this situation is going to be solved and that he will come back to us again with great and amazing content so have a good weekend um not very joyful today i'm not very happy so have a good day